Wherever you are in the world, an insect like one of these, a leaf hopper, a tree hopper, a frog hopper, or a plant hopper is likely right outside, not far from your door. They're all incredible insects. Just watch what they can do. A few months ago, I put out a video about springtail jumps. Springtails are tiny soil arthropods that have a spring-loaded appendage that they can use to perform really fast spinning jumps. To figure out how to best analyze that behavior, I looked at what other researchers have done to describe high-speed insect jumps. Some of the coolest research papers I found were ones on jumping insects in the order Hemiptera, and most of them, like this one, were done by Professor Malcolm Burroughs. These papers are incredible. They're filled with illustrations, electron micrographs, and high-speed video sequences. I'll link to some of them in the video description. Most of them are free to download. Though these papers are the best scientific descriptions of hemiptran jumps, the videos in them were made strictly for scientific analysis. I can't find a single good video here on YouTube that shows how amazing these insect jumps are. So I collected a bunch and filmed them. It actually wasn't too hard to do because these insects are super common. All eight or nine different species you'll see in this video were collected here in my yard or in a park just down the street. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how you can go out and collect your own and actually see this jumping behavior in person. My favorite kind of hopper might be a leaf hopper. There are over 22,000 described species and you can tell them apart from other types by the four rows of spines that run down their hind tibia. Like all the insects in this video, they have needle and straw-like mouth parts to pierce plant stems and feed on the sap. They have to take in so much sap to extract the nutrients they need, they end up excreting a ton of sugary honeydew. And they can do that in fantastic fashion too. But this video isn't about their skills in excrement flinging, it's about them doing this. Though adult leafhoppers have wings, they usually get airborne by jumping. Like all hoppers, they only use their hind legs to jump, but they don't use big heavy muscles in their legs to do it, which you can tell by how long and skinny their legs are. Instead, the muscles they use attach to the base of their legs and extend into the thorax. To power the jumps, the muscles contract to briefly store energy, which, when it's released, rotates this segment near the base of their legs called the trochanter. All the hoppers you'll see in this video jump by rapidly rotating that same leg segment. One thing I really like about leafhopper jumps is how they link their legs by pushing the tips of them together like this when they go in and push off the ground into a jump. In terms of speed, in this sequence, it takes the leafhopper just over six milliseconds to accelerate its body off the ground and into a jump. It accelerates at a rate of 148 meters per second squared, which is equivalent to experiencing just under 15 Gs. Tree hoppers, a different family of hemipterans, are some of the coolest looking insects on Earth. They're famous for their incredible helmets, which are outgrowths of the prothoracic segments directly behind their heads. In some species, they form huge spikes, earning them their other common name of thorn bugs. With all the tree hoppers I filmed, their jumps are preceded by a bunch of wing flapping. They don't ever lift off the ground using their wings. Instead, they kind of flap and warm them up, hold them out, and then once they've launched themselves off the ground, their wings kick in for flight. When Burroughs described their jumps, he found that they can accelerate at up to 2,400 meters per second squared, which is over twice as fast as the best performing long-legged leafhoppers. The next group is the plant hoppers. There are over 12,000 species within this group. Jumps of the ones I filmed seemed chaotic in comparison to the leaf and tree hoppers. They tumble up into the air, flipping end over end and rolling. This is likely due to either an out of sync release and extension of their legs, or one of the legs slipping as they enter the jump. Either way, once in the air, they stabilize their trajectories when the wings are engaged and they start flying. In terms of speed, this dervid plant hopper accelerates at 500 meters per second squared and experiences over 50 Gs at takeoff. 
One way some plant hoppers have solved this out of sync leg problem is by actually using gears. In a 2013 paper, Burroughs described the plant hopper nymph as the only animal we know of that has functional moving gears. At the base of their legs on the rapidly rotating trochanters, a series of interlacing teeth keep leg rotations in sync. Strangely, the gears are lost when the plant hoppers reach the final adult stage and they switch to relying on a different method. The last are frog hoppers, which are also known as spittle bugs. A spittle bug name comes from the ability of the nymphs to turn their sap excrement into a frothy, protective mass of spittle. Some frog hoppers are among the fastest jumping insects ever recorded, accelerating at an astounding 5,400 meters per second squared, which is just under 550 g-force. This big two-line spittle bug I was able to film was a much slower jumper, and its hind legs kept slipping on the platform, which sent it rolling and flipping end over end, until, like the plant hoppers, it could gain control using its wings. So aren't these insects incredible? I should mention that some of them do have some downsides for us though. Since they are insects that make their living feeding off of plants, some of them can be pretty destructive to our crops. A recent example of this is a spotted lanternfly, a plant hopper that has now spread throughout the mid-Atlantic states where it threatens fruit crops and hardwood trees. So because of this, one of the places you'll see these insects is on the labels of insecticides like this one here. And that's kind of sad. Don't go looking for them with this. Instead, go out and try to catch some with one of these, an insect net. If you use the net to sweep across grasses or brushy vegetation, you're likely to find a bunch. I collected all the hoppers in this video, either through sweep netting or just collecting them by hand off of vegetation. So I hope after watching this, you'll go out and find some hoppers on your own. And if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and check out the rest of our videos. Thanks for watching.